How do we make the Internet of Things both awesome and safe? Let's get to work. One of the earliest episodes of Forward Thinking we did was all about the Internet of Things, and I'm not going to go over the entire concept, but a quick Cliff's Notes version is the Internet of Things is a bunch of devices that connect to the Internet, track information, and respond to it in some way, changing our environments in a way that benefits us. In our homes, we can see this sort of thing from thermostats to locks to security cameras and everything in between and ideally it makes our lives more seamless and enjoyable and safer but there are some big challenges to creating the internet of things in a way that doesn't compromise our safety one of those is privacy you see in order for our environments to respond to us the sensors need to know more about us. I mean, surrendering some of our privacy if we want the benefits of the Internet of Things. Everywhere we go is going to create a digital footprint that these sensors are going to be able to track, and not everyone is really comfortable with that. Meanwhile, the other issue we're facing is security. Back in 2016, there was a type of malware called Mirai that hackers unleashed upon the world. It was able to take advantage of poorly secured Internet of Things devices and use them in what is called a distributed denial of service attack. Essentially, that's sending a lot of traffic to a target computer in order to overwhelm it and make it shut down or just operate really poorly. So how can we combat that? It's tricky. Manufacturers want to build in secure systems, but hackers are constantly updating their attacks, which means we have to have constantly updated security systems on the back end. Also, when you create these secure systems, you create a barrier to entry for consumers. If they have to take extra steps in order to secure their Internet of Things devices to their networks, they may not adopt that technology as readily. So it's a one-two punch. Manufacturers need to be responsible in the way they develop their technologies and software, but we as consumers need to be responsible as well and actually change those default passwords if we want things to remain safe. That way we can actually enjoy the benefits of the Internet of Things without creating more hassle down the road. Here at CES 2017, we're seeing all sorts of products in the Internet of Things spaces, and a lot more companies are paying very close attention to this security issue, which I think is ideal. It makes me very optimistic about the future. Now we have to admit, there is no such thing as a perfectly secure system, but the more steps we take, the better we are to ensure our future is going to be an amazing one. Now I have a question for you guys, and this is a real, real stumper of one. How would you develop systems to make the Internet of Things more secure so that we could actually enjoy the benefits in a responsible way. I really want to hear your best ideas in the comments below so that we can try and forge an amazing future. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode, why not hit that little uh, like button down there? That'd be really awesome of you. You should also subscribe to our channel and join the Forward Thinking Think Tank. And I'll see you guys in the future.